So I think personally, Hagar was unjustly sent out. You look at the story when Hagar was what? Sarai's handmaiden when it came to Abraham and Sarai deciding to build a physical legacy found out that Sarah could not have children right so it was her idea for Abram at the time to lay down with her handmaid and hey guy have a kid so they produced Ishmael and Ishmael um Lives on to be, you know, roughly around the time he's 12. They're throwing some kind of celebration for now Isaac, who was the originally promised child that Abraham and Sarah physically have. So in this back and forth jokes or they said that Ishmael was playing sport. This could have been the dozens, any kind of like making fun, any kind of horseplay like that, any kind of child games along those lines. And for this Sarah was mad enough to send uh, Hagar away. I keep saying Hagar, not Hagar the prophet, but the woman's name is Hagar. Hagar, mother of Ishmael. So she gets sent out into the desert in a deserted place carrying what? The symbol of Aquarius, a pitcher of water. This lets you know that when a new age comes in, a new eon comes in, it's not always received with open arms. So the adjustment from Piscean to Aquarian has this outlier effect, but the Aquarian is originally an insider. Although an Egyptian, being both an insider in both houses, but then cast out of the house that she's engrafted to because she didn't start off in Abraham's home. Hagar started off in Egypt, where eventually uh, Israel journey had to take place. So you have this storyline playing out where Aquarius is being pushed out right coming out of another age and Hagar finally gets to a point where they run out of water they're in the desert still but they run out of water the, the pitcher is empty the Aquarian pitcher is empty so she goes over to pray and she says you know what this is basically it we're going to die she didn't want to see her child die so she goes to pray at a distance from Ishmael then the angel shows up to Hagar and says don't cry for the child you know, we see the child. <laughs> so we even though you was pushed out by a whole group of people that represent a, a particular God, still that same God is bigger than that group that laid claim on him. Otherwise, she would not have been looked out for in the desert. And then a mirage, not a mirage, but an oasis of water is seen and her and the child are nourished. Ishmael co goes on to have princes, kings, dukes, and things like this under his structure of authority and governance. So everybody is somebody, even if you're an outlier. That's the main lesson between sometimes feeling like the legacy of Hagar, that you were an insider. You know what it feels like to be in an in crowd, but you may have taken a fall. People may have separated over time, but now you realize that Wherever you are, there is a kingdom because you're somebody also. So Super T Sigma of Sigma programming. Thank you for your time and attention. You know, reaching is teaching. If it takes a million vids to get a million views, so be it. But know yourself for yourself. And in the meantime, continue to vibrate high, people. Peace.